Hiya! Welcome back to part two of the mini caravan, Gypsy Caravan tutorial. I've steamed on ahead, not that I've left you out, but because I left the radio on again. You think I'd learn? You think I would learn? So rather than having the video banned worldwide because someone can hear some music that I can't hear in the background on the video, I thought I'd just talk you through what I did. So we left off, we done all the construction and finished off our edges with all the construction strips, strips, sorry, so we've got a nice even finish. Then I painted all my edges with white paint, okay. Um, then I cut my paper. I used um, the chipboard sizes as my guide, but I did check with my ruler first. So you do the same, check with your ruler first, make sure you've got everything the right size, cut out all your papers ready to go and you can just um, stick them down using your glue or your double sided tape, whatever you want to use. What you need to do is start with on your sides with windows and a door, you need to start with your outside edges, okay, put them on first. But before you glue them, you need to offer up your paper. So, um, say this was my bit of paper that's going on the front of my caravan. I'm going to put that on the inside and then I'm going to draw, <laughs> draw where my window is. Okay, now to wrap the sides, what you need to do... I oh, know that's not very straight. Let's make that a. That is, can't draw to save my life. I'm hopeless. So instead of cutting around, you can wrap it inside. That's why we do the outside first. So the first thing I do from top to bottom is cut that. Okay. And then I cut from each edge at the bottom up to about the centre of that score, of that first cut. Okay, so it looks like that. Got two pieces there. And then from sort of the corner of the arch, go down and meet where you've ended the last ones. So what you end up with is this. Okay. So when you stick that down, you need to, mm, it might be better to use glue, okay? Put your glue on, but avoid the window area. Stick your paper down, and then once it's on, you need to wrap all these edges into, <coughs> excuse me, into your caravan, okay? Or you can just cut it out, it's up to you. So that's what your outside will look like. And then inside, once you've creased everything back, then you can apply your glue and stick it all down. So then you can go ahead and put your inside papers in, on, sorry, and uh, do the same thing. Well, you don't do the same thing. You're actually just going to cut out your window, cut the whole thing out, okay, um, so that's your front, that's your front, say this is the inside of your caravan, when you put your layer on, your inside paper, it will cover all these edges up, okay, so you won't, I mean, if you want to chip, you know, cut them down a bit, whatever, whatever you want to do, so uh, your inside papers will hide all that, so that's what I've done, um, I also added my trinket parlour windows to both sides and I have put the shutters on because it just looks lovely. It looks really lovely. So um, I think I am going to get, unless I can find something to do with the inside, which I've been hunting through all my dies and things like that, trying to find a window one and I found one, but of course it doesn't fit. Um... 
so yeah I will probably get some more trinket parlor windows for the inside I've also added my door frame glued that on I made my wheels I had some uh, MDF wagon wheels in my stash and all I did did with that is put my um, trinket parlor filigree flower onto it and then um, held it all together with a brad from my stash so uh, and I wanted to sort of add the wood the MDF in just to balance it out with the door because I've left the door um, like the MDF wood color rather than painting it because it's the door's just going to be a nightmare to paint and I always make a horrible mess of it and it gets all gloopy and horrible so I've just left it um, so I've put my door frame on I haven't put the door on I've put my wheels on they're all glued down I wanted everything dry so that I could you know maneuver it about without things falling off so uh, so what else did I do um, oh I cut my fence as well I've got this memory box die so I cut I think it was about 16 of these I thought it's a gate I think it's a gate uh, la, 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 la. iron gate raw iron gate and um, I think I'm going to colour them I might add some vintage photo to them because they've got a bit of glue on so I cut 16 of these I glued two together so they're a bit more sturdier otherwise they're really fl flimsy so I've got two spares <laughs> just in case I muck it up then what I did is I glued three together and I used this edge to glue them so I put my uh, glue on here and then added it like that so that I've got three one for each side okay so whatever fences you're using depending on the size of what you're using too they're a bit wobbly and a bit they're fiddly little things to try and um, glue together so they're not perfect but they will be fine okay so that's my fence and the last thing that I did was cut my paper I don't know if did I tell you I can't remember what I've done and what I haven't done now this is the paper for the roof <coughs> excuse me this is cut at nine inches by looks like an eighth eight and one eighth but eight is fine so nine by eight <coughs> sorry I've got a ticking throat today and then what I'm going to do is add it just to make it a bit more sturdier I'm going to add this onto this white paper here so I've added all my score tape rather than gluing it because it's going to be the inside of the roof so and what I do is I just cut around the white paper once I've uh, got it stuck down. So yeah, then I was happily going along doing my other video and then about 40 minutes in I thought, oh I've got the bloody radio on. So, and I don't want to get banned again, so I just gave up on that one. Hence, talking through what I've done. I'll show you what I've done actually. I didn't show you, did I? Let's just get this roof done and then you can have a look. It's starting to look very pretty now. I do like making these. <coughs> right. So, I'm just going to line up all the edges on one side and what I did with all my papers is I went round with my 
scissors just to shabby the edges up a bit. Again, so just, just cut that bit of paper off there. Do both sides. And you're also going to, whatever paper you've used for the inside of your your caravan, you're going to need um, about, a, I don't know, three quarters of an inch by, what, seven inches, I think. We'll check that in a minute. Don't do that yet. So that's our roof. And you want to... Get it the right way first. <laughs> oh dear, do as I say, not as I do. I'm like dippy today, I've been dropping everything and all sorts. I've got a busy week next week, so no construction next week, I'm afraid, ladies. I'm going to be delving into my beautiful little... Uh, Beauty and the Beast trinket parlour design team box. I'm going to be making something lovely. Don't know what yet, but something lovely. So try not to crease your roof. So yeah, just help it bend down a bit. So let me show you. Here it is. How pretty! Don't know where those windows look lovely. This is why I need some for the inside as well. So these are the MDF wheels that I had in my stash. I added the Trinket Parlour Filigree and my own brads. And then I put glue on the back of the top edge of the wheel. And along under the filigree. And stuck that down, leaving a little gap at both edges. I've papered the bottom, that's the back, that's the other side, see it just needs something because you can see through can't you, so it needs another window inside, pretty pretty, and then that's my front, paper on the um, porch, but I still might change that actually, and um, added my frame but cut the bottom base out. What I'm going to do is this is a bit that I cut off the bottom of the frame that was originally up like that, but I'm going to just slot it in there like a little, um, you know, door runner type thing. And then this will probably go on last. I am, let's see what way we are I'm going to be adding my door and it's going to be open at a little angle like that can't see if that's right because I'm looking at it on the camera so yeah I know it overlaps here if I thought about it I could cut these bits off as well and just use these but it's done now I'll remember that for next time so it will sort of be like that, slightly ajar. All right. So, but that will be one of the last things I put on with, you know, last bits and pieces. So, let's do the roof. What you need to do, let's turn this so you can see it. Um, whichever way you want it, the roof is going to be an opening roof. So, you know, you can put something in here if you want to put something in there. <laughs> Um, so you want to decide which way you're going to display, whether you want your roof opening this way or this way, okay, front, back, whatever. So it will come round like that. 
Is that right? Is that, it is that right. Like that. Okay, so you've got a bit of an overhang on each edge. Okay. So what you need to do we are going to put a construction strip all along this edge here okay and then what we do is we attach the construction strip to the paper to the roof so that when it comes over like that that piece stays put permanently but then we put some kind of hook on the other side so that we can open it up and it flips open so as we're gonna I, I forgot to say to put the if you haven't put your papers on yet put your construction strip on and then put this side on so uh, so we can just add it to the paper so I'm what I'm going to do is just get a piece of this and uh, cover it up okay so we need to do some measuring and all that sort of thing see where we want it coming down to we need it about the same on each side so what I'm going to do is just get where the centre is. I need to put it up. So you want to line it up as central as you can do. It might be easier to do it like this. You need a bit of a gap by your window. Oh, actually, I need to put the construction strip on first, don't I? That might help. So it's going to go this side. And it's going to go up like that. And then it will attach to the paper. Could have done with doing a, a wider one, really, but it should work. So just let's uh, find my glue. And then we're going to add the fence. And then, no, actually, I might do the fence last because I want to ink it up first. I forgot to wrap the paper this side on. So busy, I'll cut it out so, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna hide it. So, get your glue and you need your flap coming up, okay? So it's overhanging, but you want to put it right along that edge. And turn this around so I can see. Mess it up. Okay, so then burnish that down. You're gonna have to give it a minute to dry before we attach it. Okay, so So you just need to do that to one side, whichever side you choose. Now, what we're going to do next as best as we can flat down so I can see. 
if you want to use your pen what you need to do is a nice it doesn't matter if the overhang at the front is a little bit more than the back because you've got the porch so uh, but I would try and get it as central as possible up just above your window frame and then you can actually draw a line where it's going to go but you need to hold it down it's hard to hold it down and put pressure on and make sure you've got an even overhang on both sides that's about right right i'm going to add my glue and just get it done so add the glue to your flat Okay, so bend it back down while you line it up again. Ah, well, I thought I'd knocked a wheel off then. It might be better actually to lay it down. I'm going to lay it this way. Make sure it's above my window. Bring it up a bit. Then just press your flap down. And see that automatically closed itself then. So I'm just going to make sure I'm lined up. Yeah, I do. Right. Where's my Where's my bone folder? Over there. Oh, I've done that. Help it bend over a bit. See, and then when we attach the side, the other side, which I've got to find something to do that with. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Let's lift this up. See, and then it closes your gap round your arch at the front and back. And then what I'm going to do is probably add something on the bottom of there because it just gives it a bit of weight. Uh, so that's your roof on. Now what you need to do is get your strip and cover that up. All right? You can either put a whole new sheet on or just uh, run a strip across the top there. I'm actually thinking of putting something else on there. Sorry, I was in mid-thought again. Right, okay, so now the bit that I've been dreading is this fence. 
So the idea is it will go on like that and around like that. That's why, oh sorry, can't see, can you? I will glue it oh, along the edge of the porch. But I think I'm going to ink it first. So whatever you're using for your fencing, you can put them on now. So that will go like that. It's a bit wonky, but hey, it's a fence. Fences are wonky, aren't they? Add a bit of glue in a few places on that. So yeah, then that one will go that side. Someone's rumbling. And then that one. I need to glue this one a bit more. We'll go on that side. Oh. You know what I mean, don't you? But if you can see, there's got some little prongs. These little bits down there. All I'm going to do is add some glue along there and put them on like that. So what I'm also going to go and find is something to hold this down. I usually use a hook and eye. So if you've got anything like that, then go and get it. happy with that right I'm going to go and ink up my fences and give that top bit roof some time to dry and I'll be back in a second okay I'll put this side of the fence on just inked it all up it's a bit wobbly and it's not wobbly, it's just a bit out of shape. But it looks all right, don't it? So that's that. I haven't put the other side on. This is an MDF piece that I had. Oh, I glued the um, the bottom of the door frame. I've put that down there as a runner because then I've done this as a doormat. And that will, can't see, that will sit in there so that when I glue the door on, I can lay it across and um, give it a bit of support at the bottom. Okay, so I've done that. And you've got to have a bike, haven't you? <laughs> Look how cute. My little trinket parlour bike that I've inked up with uh, peeled paint and bundled sage. And okay, I'll hit the button then. Um, on the basket, I've just uh, inked that with warm lipstick and then these lovely trinket parlour flowers I've put behind just hot glued them on behind so it looks like the basket has got some flowers in it cute and that's going to go on the back of my caravan just to I'm going to get my hot glue and put that down first strands off okay. 
So there's my bike inside. I don't know if you can see through the gap. But I've added a chaise lounge, a picture frame, and a grandfather clock at the back. And then on, I don't know if you can see, on this side I've put a table under, a table and a chair under the window. And then on this side here, you probably can't see it, I'll add some photos at the back on uh, at the back of the video. I've put a telephone up there and then I've just put a little ornate piece over the top of the door. I'm not sure you can see it. Sun shining in so I can't see. So now what I want to do is add my doorstep. So I'm going to do that. Oh, there goes my glue gun. Turn it round so I can see. I'm going to pop that right central on the door. Like that. Pick up my glue gun. Oh, you need to get a glue gun holder. So now I can add my door. And then add the rest of my fence. So what I'm going to do is glue down the side and the bottom of the door and attach it like that so it sits on the doormat and um, the doormat will give it some extra oomph. Right, let's get the right side for a start. That's a bit. So I want to add some glue on the bottom. I'm just using wet glue for this so I can maneuver it. Just along the bottom like that. And that. use out but I'll clean it up right so sorry I've got to turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing um, uh, oh, I made a mess on the doorstep now It wasn't along that edge, it was on the inner edge. I needed to put glue up here. A bit more down the bottom again. Right, do it again. Want something that's going to dry clear. So there you go. There's my door. So I'm not going to touch that for a minute. Leave that alone. Now I'm going to add my other piece of fence. 
So all I'm going to do is put glue along these prongs at the bottom and then on these little two sticky out bits there and then they hitch onto the wall. Come on glue. Oh, not too much. So do this section first, line it up, make sure your prongs aren't overhanging at the bottom. You see that? Now before you attach this bit you need to let this dry or take a little bit. Oh, I did have my glue already. So make sure your fence is straight. it off. It's a little fiddly thing. Just going to hold that for a minute. And then I'm going to make the steps and then add some prettiness to it on just around the roof and oh I know what I'm meant to put on. This is a trinket parlor cuckoo clock. So uh, I'm going to put that on the front as well, above the door probably. Yeah, why not? I need to use these things up that I've got. Oh, come on, what's my bar? I really need blue gun. and centre that above the door. That's straight. As straight as it's ever going to be. So that's what I've done. Now, for the steps, how much have I got? Ooh. Maybe let's not put it underneath. Sorry, talking to myself. Yeah, I might do that. I'm actually going to glue the first step underneath the base here. Use hot glue gun for that.
look straight. Yes. Now, I need something to go along the edge to glue my steps to. That's my other one gone. There it is. So, I might... No, they're going to be too big. I'm going to cut them down a bit. I didn't have any little lolly sticks left, but that's all I've used, the bigger lolly steps. So I think I'm going to take about that much. off okay. that very well, did I? off both of them Better. Maybe a bit too much, but hey ho. I need something to hold them. I don't know what I'm going to use. Right, let me go and have a look what I've got. Okay, I've just um, cut some more lolly sticks, squared it off at one end and then cut the other end at an angle like that. Chopped it off. And then try and move it without breaking it. And then just attached it to the porch along here and then put some glue on the side of the step and then what I do is when I find my lolly sticks pretend these are nice big steps then I add these bits to the inside one mm, see once that's dry because I don't want to fiddle too much Some more glue on that one. Oh, I need some more glue on both of them by the looks of it. Maybe I should have added some more hot glue to hold it in place. I think I'll do that. Burn yourself. Like that. Oh no. Let me um fence. And then same with the other side. A little bit to hold it in place. Not too much. Just 
it sits hopefully like that. Clean my mess up. So we're nearly done. Add some prettiness to it. Cut some more steps. I don't know what I did with my um, lolly sticks. I know I haven't put them away, but do you think I can find them? No. So I'm going to find my lolly sticks. Give that a few minutes to dry. See? And then I'm just going to add the um, steps, two more steps in the uh, one at the bottom and one in the middle. And we are done. So while that's drying, I'm going to go and find some prettiness. I want some trim for around here. You need a hook and eye. You see, and that will help keep the uh, lid closed. If you're not putting anything inside and you want to add a construction strip to keep the lid down, you're welcome to do that. But um, the last one I made, I actually put a mini album inside, so I wanted you to be able to open it and get inside. But now I've put loveliness inside, I might even put a, a mat at the bottom. Oh yeah. So let's give that a minute to dry. I'm going to cut some more lolly sticks when I find them and I'm going to for uh you need a hook and eye and you need like something not an elastic band but like a hair band or something like that to um hook it down with. I'm going to have a look what I've got. I think I've got some uh, new hairbands upstairs somewhere. But they might be a bit long. So, but you can use cotton or what have you. You just have to make sure you've got enough room. So I'll show you in a minute where this one, the eye, where it's central, where the window's here, the central bit of the window, you want to add it, glue it on. Oh, where's that one? <laughs> there it is. You can't do fiddly little things. What you're going to do is add it on your roof so you've got something to hook on to okay and this will go on here but I need to work out where it's going first so uh, but I need that to dry so I'll be back seconds <laughs> 